when you were selling drugs, and you're not selling drugs anymore, correct? Correct. All right. When you were selling drugs, were you, would you describe it as large amounts or more smaller hand-to-hand -hand transactions? Oh, man? Yes. Man. Nickel and dime. You know, yeah. Petty? Yes. Okay. Would you sell in all areas? What, did you have a specific spot where you sold, or did it did it change from time to time? Yeah, it changed. Okay. Um, I believe that you indicated on direct that you that you have sold before at uh, a couple of the gas stations in Cleveland Avenue. Excuse. Me. Yes. Excuse. Me. It's okay. And uh, are those the only places you've ever sold drugs? No. Okay. Do, in your experience, um, do drugs, is it common that drugs are sold at gas stations? Man, tick, boy, that boy that's smooth, boy. I'm loving him, man. I'm loving him. That boy say, I was, I was niggling down. I'm, I'm, I was just trying to survive, nephew. I was, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I was niggling and dying. Yes, it was petty. It was, it was very petty. <laughs> bro, bro, he, bro, get that boy an Oscar. Get that boy an Oscar. That nigga, that boy, that, he tough. He tough. For real. For real. Man, listen. <laughs> bro, did y'all see it, bro? Oh my God, bro. He dead, he dead serious too. He played that bit to the T, boy. I'm telling you, thug coming home. He done put so many doubts in the gym, bro. It only take one juror, bro. To just be like, nah, nope, I'm not going for it. They got seven black people, a couple other minorities, and the rest white. All right, all right, it's somebody sitting on that jury right now. Not changing my answer, boy. They already gave me a hundred raps. <laughs> they already gave me. I'm telling you, God can come down here and tell me he did it. I ain't changing for them hundred racks. <laughs> for real, boy, who, man? Listen, my nah, shit. Tick, all right. And, and what? Y'all gonna be looking so dumb. Jeff gonna get out. Him and Tick gonna be buddy buddy. Gonna be buddy buddy. Yeah, watch. Cause bro, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Oh, he ain't gonna get out. He still got the stuff they found in his house. And ooh, ooh, bro, if he beat that right there, for one, I don't even recall him being charged with that stuff that they found at his house. I don't. But. If he was, I'm not sure because, listen, don't quote me because I'm not sure. Everything is opinions and allegedly in this video. I'm not sure, but I don't think he got charged for that stuff in that was in his house. Now, if he did and he beat this, let me tell you why it don't really matter. Because, bro, he just got a life sentence took off him. An you, I'm going to be grateful to take eight years. You crazy. Lucci just signed for 20 because he was scared of that, like that. Man, that L. Them folks taking plea deals out. Six of them people took plea deals on him. Oh, man, you crazy. He wouldn't be like, why would I be mad about catching a little eight piece or a little ten piece for this like right here, right here. You know what I mean? And getting it all out the way. But I don't even think he going to do that. I think they going to get that boy probably five years. He gonna come home on time, sir, and have a whole lot of probation. Come on, man. That man got Brian Steele in the uh, Brian Steele in the cut. Brian Steele shooting that bit like Ray Allen. Dirt in the whiskey. Y'all too young for Ray Allen? I ain't talking about when he in the Celtics. I'm talking about when he was uh, on the Sonics. On the Sonics. Y'all don't even remember the Super Sonics. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, when that boy was a straight, pure shooter. 
Fickle. Huh? Fickle. <laughs> <I'm> ugly hair, <laughs> lady. Ugly hair. <laughs> Oh shit, for real though, bro. It's over with, man. It's over with free thug, man. That boy said, I, it was petty, man. I, I was, it was petty. Nigga had a flashback about all the bowls in the paint. Like, boy, I had six dead bowls. Honey. <laughs> it was petty. <laughs> Yo, man. Yo, man. Thug coming to the crib. And they leading up. If you don't know what that question leading up to, is leading up to what? The well. You don't know what the web is. The web is Thug House. That's what they call it. They trying to say Thug House was a trap house. What that got to do? Well, I can see what it got to do with the case because they trying to say they was using drug money and I mean rap money to furtherance in the YSL the gang or whatever like that. But come on, bro, like whatever. Hey, well, this is a long ass trial. I ain't gonna lie, this is a long, 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 long trial, my boy. It is. This is a long trial. But let me know what y'all think about that right there. Do y'all think Tick Cannon? Or y'all think Tick got there telling the truth? Was Tick just a nickel and dimer? <laughs> a nickel and dimer? Or was he telling the truth, man?